I've been a professional photographer for over a decade and I've constantly heard every year that the industry is dying. At first it was the move to digital and then it was Photoshop and retouching was going to kill the photography industry and then it was stock photography, now it's smartphones. I have ignored all of that and I've made plenty of money shooting both stills and video. But honestly, for the first time, I am actually worried about the photography industry. I think photography as a whole is about to plummet in value. Let me explain. The reason we can charge thousands of dollars for photos is because we're able to create images that the average person simply can't. The gear is expensive, the software is complex, the best photographers in the world have created their own artistic style that is extremely difficult to replicate. But all of that is about to go away. Smartphones are completely taking over. Yes, we've been hearing this for years, but take a look at this chart. Look at how decimated the camera industry is just because of the invention of smartphones. A few years ago, smartphones gave everyone the ability to take photos for free, but now they can actually take professional looking photos. Every smartphone today uses software behind the scenes to find subjects' faces and enhance scenes before you ever even see the picture. Shots that were impossible just a few years ago, like macro, telephoto, long exposure, panos, and night shots all come standard on phones these days. For the last 50 years, the easiest way to differentiate professional images from images taken on cheap cameras was a shallow depth of field. Large lenses and large sensors can produce that shallow depth of field look where your subject is in focus and the background goes blurry. But you guys probably know smartphones can actually mimic this today using software. As a new father, I am constantly taking photos of my son and I own the best professional camera gear on the market, but I've only used my pro gear three times in his entire life to take a photo of him. Every other photo I've taken has been with my phone. The photos that I've printed and hung on the walls in my home, they were taken on my smartphone. My cell phone is connected to the internet. It has automatic geotagging. I can edit photos without ever having to plug anything in or transfer files, and I can instantly share the files or send them to print directly from my phone. Now, we've all heard the smartphone argument before, but let's talk about software. Editing photos used to be hard. Photoshop is expensive and complicated. It takes years to learn, but new software is coming out every single day that can edit your photos instantly and automatically. Programs like Luminar cost less than $100 and can automatically find your subject, whiten their teeth, remove blemishes, remove fat. Retouching a photo that may have taken 30 minutes or an hour before can be done almost instantaneously on a computer, and these programs are showing up more and more every day on smartphones as well. For 99 cents, you can automatically remove all of the zits on your face with a single click. The scariest advancement of all, and really the reason that I wanted to make this video, is the technology that has been coming out in the last few weeks. Artificial intelligent art generators like Midjourney and Dolly have hit the market, and these programs can instantly create world-class quality art for free simply by typing in a few keywords. You might think this will destroy the graphic design or the illustration industry, but what does this have to do with photography, Lee? Well, new updates allow these programs to create photorealistic images. These are not real people. This was not taken with a camera. This was automatically generated with a program in seconds for free. These images look way better than the majority of images that professional photographers these days are making. Why would anyone go through the trouble of hiring a photographer, model, makeup artist, stylist, and location scout when they can create something that looks better instantly for free? And I know what you're thinking. Well, photographers will still be needed to take pictures of real people in the real world, like a celebrity on the cover of a magazine or a headshot for somebody's website. Oh, really? These programs now allow you to upload images of faces and then create new art with those people in it. Obviously, this is not perfect yet, but I would have never guessed that we would be this close this soon. What happens when a person is able to scan their face with their phone and then have a photography generator create world-class photos of themselves in any location, with any clothing, with any lighting, in any style? I never dreamed this would be here this fast, but it is right around the corner. I lived through the switch from film to digital, and I remember everyone saying that digital photography was going to destroy the photography market. Of course, that didn't happen. Digital didn't destroy the industry, but it did bring the barrier to 
to entry way down. Photography became way more popular because it was easier and cheaper, but getting professional results was still very expensive. You needed that expensive gear. You needed an artistic vision. You needed the knowledge of how to use Photoshop. Yes, digital cameras gave everyone the ability to take their own photos, but if somebody wanted professional looking images, they were still going to have to hire a professional. Today, everyone has a pro camera in their pocket and they have access to software that can edit their photos or create entire images for free. Photography is going to lose its value because everyone will be able to do it. And if professional photographers can't differentiate their work, there will be no reason to hire them. Why would someone pay you thousands of dollars when their cell phone is capable of taking photos that look the same, if not better? Why would someone pay you for retouching when a cell phone app can do it for free? Why would anyone bother with a camera or a person at all if a program can generate the entire image instead? I'm not exactly sure what is going to happen to the professional photography industry, but I think there is going to be a major change very, very soon. But maybe you think I'm crazy. Maybe I sound like one of those nut jobs 20 years ago that said these digital cameras are gonna destroy photography. In that case, head over to fstoppers.com slash store, check out our full length photography tutorials before the artificial intelligence overlords absolutely make our entire industry obsolete. If you're interested in any genre of photography, headshots, weddings, landscapes, architectural, the business side of photography, we have it all at fstoppers.com slash store. Or maybe you're like our average viewer who doesn't actually do this professionally, you just take photos for fun. In that case, head over to fstoppers.com slash contest. We have photo contests running all the time and you can actually win the tutorials found in fstoppers.com slash store by simply uploading pictures 100% for free. I'll see you soon.